Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here, guys. I've been busy shoveling snow. We had a dump load of 16 inches, guys. It's horrendous. So I've been trying to bury, get unburied around here. That's why I'm a little late uploading. So let's get messages for the collective energy. See what we're talking about, spirit. What are we talking about here for the collective energy? Setbacks. This person is feeling up against the wall. Overspending. Looking like this person, the karmic, is envious because this person has experienced some financial setbacks, they need a rescuing. They're looking at a stable partner. <laughs> oh, well, it's all about control. They mismanaged their money somehow. Well, you're discovering your life purpose. I think that they're looking for a job. They're unstable. Let's change. Tables are turning. They could be looking for a job. And this karmic soul, jealous and envious because you are in control of your finances to do with your job, your security. And I think that this person, yeah, yeah, a deceptive friend, a deceptive contract, far away, the door is closing in on this person while well, you are in your power. Drastic changes. Since you walked away, this person was high on life, spending all their money. You're getting your wishes come true. And now you're looking toward the future. You're two steps ahead of your enemies. And now this karmic is regretting. They're casting this um, masculine out because they want a high role in lifestyle. And this masculine is experiencing a lot of financial setbacks. They've been overspending on this karmic energy. And take it as it resonates. It could be feminine or masculine. Just switch the roles where needed, guys. Because they're experiencing financial setbacks, this little powder over here, whoever they're with, is like, oh my God, I really regret this being with this person. Oh, tsk, tsk, you know, no money? What? You can't find a job? What are you talking about? I mean, I have a lifestyle here I'm used to having. <laughs> Makes me laugh. What's going on? being haunted. Yeah, married for money, that's why. Hoping, you know, to leave some kind of mark on, yeah, by having children, you know. It's a bunch of toxic thought that they were going to be this power couple. But they're broke and broken. Missing you. Something about a message. Hmm. Let's turn this karmic stone gold. Thought that they were going to have this happy, happy ever after by stirring up trouble. I 
they're a bloodthirsty rival. That's who they are. Can't live up to their standards, you know what I mean? Hmm. Spreading gossip and rumors just to get vengeance on you and now tables are turning. It's coming back on them. funny how you get to see people are when people are up against the wall you know financially that's why spirits taking their money away to show this person what a gold digger that this karmic really is i'm sorry but they are what no money you still haven't got this high paying job Cut off the money, you soon see who your friends are, right? That's why they've gotten all these obstacles to bring them into wisdom, to see clearly, you know, who they're dealing with. Heartbroken. Well, your passions are ignited. Getting a fulfillment of wishes. That's the truth, Spirit's saying. They fell for temptation. They sacrificed the union, thinking that they were going to get all these rewards. That's what they were hoping for. Now they, they're seeing that you were their destined partner. Who they should have been with. Thought that they were going to get a material harvest. Now they're trapped in fear. Look. Mentally conflicted. Can't figure out how you have transformed during this waiting period. Getting your victory. Getting your prosperity. And now they suffer in silence. It's fair as fair. You're healing the heart. You've done the work. You've stood your ground. And in solitude, you're seen clearly. And now they got to face their shadow. they got to see you triumph while they feel defeated. They could be looking for a job. I'm just saying in this karmic, whoever this third party is, they don't have to be a karmic. It's just like pouting because this person doesn't have any more money. Trying to look good to their family. Trying to look good to the karmic's family, the third party's family. And all is done. Somebody could be going to jail. Just saying. Jealousy, envy. Seeing you get a victory. Turned emotionally cold on you. They're heavily burdened financially. They could be going to court over child support or alimony or doing something with a family business. They could have got turned down for work, rejected. You know, looking for work, getting turned down. Well, you glow. Gossip, rumor, this other lover is spreading gossip and rumors. And they're hurt. Something to do, they lost their, their empress energy. They lost their happiness. You know, this other lover is peed off at them because they're running out of money. 
learning who their true friends are. See, trying to look good to their friends, their family, this other lover is just a complete disaster. Regret, shame, embarrassment. I can't even find a freaking job. Tables have turned, you know. Stuck. Financially. Spending too much, being the high roller, spending on this car, this third party, probably karmic, but it doesn't have to be. Spending on their family, spending and trying to look good, pay, pay for everything. Well, they're going broke. It is. Friends, family, sexual partners. Now they're alone. Financially. Looking for work. Looking for work. Watching you blow. They're going broke. I'm telling you. Then they get to see, Spirit is saying, who are the real friends? Who really is this other lover? Who is this family and where are they when they're broke? That's their karma. See, this little gold digger was all like floss, floss. I want to look wealthy. I want to have it all. Ideas of grandeur. You've got to pay for my family. You've got to pay for this. This is their karma. Go broke. Making accusations against you. Causing people to mistrust you. Making them walk away from you. Thinking that they were better than you. And now they're resentful frustrated, angry, because it didn't work out the way they thought it was. Now, all they have is this nightmare, bickering, arguing. That's their shadow. That's what they got to face. See this one? It's controlling them for money. And now they see. See, it was an illusion. Pain. Pain, pain. Can't pay? Leave. Shut the door on your way out. You got no money? Shut the door on the way out. <laughs> That's what they're saying. You got no money to give? Then get out of here and shut the door when you leave. Don't let the door hit you in your ass. You've got no... They're thinking about you. Yep. Fighting, arguing. Where to get them? Believing a lie. We're all your sneaky ass friends and your great people now. Oh, uh, huh. They just vanished, right? These soulmates and separation. Boring. Scattered. Monotonous. All work. Repetitive. They can't deliver. You know what I'm saying? Under someone else's influence. And they're a natural born leader. They're under judgment. They're needing an outlet. Disaster. Devoid of emotion. Whoever they're with is harsh, pessimistic, critical, calculating, gossiper, scattered energy. Easily influences. It's short term. You know what I mean? 
No excitement. Scarcity. See? Possessive. Creature of habit. It's a good thing you listen to your intuition. Now they got to reap the rewards. Count your blessings. This was a blessing in disguise. <laughs> They're being... They got nothing to say. But gossip, sarcasm, cynical. Oh well. Hmm. This person was excessively controlling. Wanted to control everything. And now they're out of control. Unfair victimization. Being shamed and blamed. It's their justice. Spirit saying it's fair. They're feeling imbalanced, broken, unauthentic relationship. What do you want? <laughs> That's what they wanted. What they wanted, they got. So they can't cry wolf now. They were a heartbreaker. Well, they've met a heartbreaker. And now they're getting mental clarity. Things are starting to be revealed. They're starting to shift their consciousness. They're financially adept. It's all out of control. So that's why spirit's taking their money. It's crystal clear to show them who these family members truly are, who these third parties really are, who these friends really are. You are the only true friend in their life. These are all fakes. And now they're starting to see how fake they really are. Now that this person is desperate, and is going through a bunch of financial loss. Where are all these people? Just vanished into the woodwork. Karmic's mad at them because they're going broke. Got no money. That's on them. Spirit saying it is fair justice. That's what Spirit's saying because of what they did to you is being done to them that's why they're being haunted as a reminder it's all coming back to them oh yeah i did do that to the collective didn't i whether they ever admit to that or not you'll never know maybe some will some won't but it's like They're living the high life off of this person's back, okay? So take away the money. You get to see who your true friends are. Where are they when you need them? Gone. They can't even find a job. They may have lost their job. Can't find another one. Well, where's the good friends now? right oh i can't tell you out i can't who could pay for this third party's high lifestyle that they want to live anyway they need a good dose of going broke with the lifestyle that they're living it's all financially unstable looking back at the collective how stable you are you know you didn't require all those things. You know what I mean? You're just like you were content to be with this person, rich or poor. You would have worked alongside with them. And, you know, we'll get through this. And you would have gotten through it.
this one's over here just pouting. No money? Oh, you're unstable. I gotta find someone stable. It's on them. It is just, that's what Spirit's saying. Good luck, guys.